You've heard of spontaneous human combustion, but I know you've never heard spontaneous human invisibility. It's a thing. Real people swear that they've just vanished, not off the grid, but literally from sight. And what's fascinating is that modern science might actually explain why people are capable of thinking that. In 2022, researchers tested what happens when we imagine what another person might see, not right now, but in the future. They found that people automatically take the perspective of someone who isn't even in the room anymore as if they're preparing for their return. Kind of like Jesus. Anyway, right now, as you watch this very video, your mind is subconsciously calculating what someone else outside of the room might see or think of you watching it. Invisible observers, at least in your mind, are real. And if perception shapes reality, what happens when your perception breaks, say through trauma, you might actually start to believe that you're the invisible person in the room. Oh, whoa, my bad guys. Sorry, I actually struggle with this. I'm back. But that's not real invisibility, right? Well, real invisibility is already happening. Scientists have used metamaterials to bend the light around objects, rendering them effectively invisible. And decades ago, the CEO of Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, Ben Rich, said, if you've seen it on Star Trek, we've done it. All right, but here's where it gets really strange. People have reported disappearing for a long time. Callers on Coast to Coast AM say that they have blinked out of existence for minutes or even hours. One woman claimed that she stood in line at the post office trying to talk to people, but no one looked at her. No one even heard her. She didn't exist. And that's just one example, but you might be thinking that this is just some new age nonsense. The problem is, is that people have been describing disappearing for much longer than Coast to Coast has been around. For like thousands of years, ancient mystics in India called them Sita powers of the mind, including invisibility. Centuries later, secret societies like the Rosicrucians wrote of rituals that wrapped the body in a mist, making them invisible. Then there was Madame Blavatsky. Witnesses say she didn't just talk about invisibility, she actually performed it. They described clouds or spirit essence surrounding the body and blocking all light. The same principle that modern scientists use for invisibility cloaks today. And I think it's all real. Because for about two years of my life, I thought that I was disappearing. But that's a story for another day.